What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from SAS University and today we're we'll taking a look at micro SAS success stories. We'll go over a few examples here. All of these examples are going to be within the 10 to 15k MRR. We didn't want to go too low because we wanted to have some decent success for these products. We also didn't want to reach too high because those $500 million a month ARR are pretty big SaaS products. We really want to focus on micro SaaS here. So make sure you stay to the end of the video as we go over some really cool examples. This is going to give you some inspiration. I encourage you to check out these websites for yourself as they do a lot of things very well. Before I dive into it, I just wanna say that if you're enjoying this video along the way, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. As I would really help the channel out, we're new and we're starting to grow here just a little bit and any subscription would mean a lot. Let's go over the first example here. That's gonna be Nomad List. If you traveled around the world, and you wanted to work around the world, a nomad list is a great place for that. It's almost a community website here. You can see rankings of tons of different cities, what they're like to live as a nomad. You get temperature and overall score, cost, internet, fun, safety. It's gonna have them ranked. You can search and filter through a lot of different means here. And overall, it's gonna make it much more comfortable if you're trying to live that digital nomad life and you wanna travel the world, it's gonna make things a lot easier. So this product monetizes through a subscription. We get access to their advanced Slack channel so you can meet, communicate, and connect with different nomads around the world. It would make it really easy if you're traveling here and you're looking to connect with other people who are doing the same thing. Otherwise, it could be quite lonely. And so they've created an amazing community here. They've been seen in the New York Times, BBC, CNN, US Today, CNBC, and The Guardian. Overall, it's an extremely popular site. It includes a lot of details. We can see Lisbon is the top ranked one. It says good quality of life, family, internet temperature, humidity, air quality, lack of crime, lack of racism, income level. You can also get different guides. You can see 20,000 remote workers live in Lisbon now. You get pros and cons, photos, reviews, weather, trends, demographics. So overall, a ton of details for different cities. And this is a really must have if you are a nomad. So the founder has written some good books as well. So I would check out Nomad List, check out the founder. It is a great example here and he was a solo founder for this project i believe the next one we'll take a look at here is translate press it's a wordpress translation plugin that anyone can use as full support for woocommerce complex themes and site builders and is powering over 200,000 websites here 220 languages 700 plus five star reviews and 50 plus support articles it allows for translation of the page visually automatically and the wordpress way also seo friendly you have editorial control and overall it seems like a decent product here in terms of pricing they have a personal business and developer. And they really focus on the yearly plan as they're trying to get more cash up front so they can use that on marketing spend. It does make it easier to manage cash flow. It's locking people in for one year as well. So if they're billing on a yearly rate, it means that their lifetime value is going to be at least 12 months, which is awesome there. The third SaaS company we'll take a look at today is Pastel and allows you to approve marketing collateral two times faster. So it's a tool for marketing teams to review and approve marketing for live websites, PDFs, and image files. And quite a few teams use it here. We can see Dropbox, Box, Calendly, Live Nation, PandaDoc, General Electric. It's a simple shareable link that everyone can see on the same page here. So overall, if you're a marketer, this is probably extremely useful if you're working on a team and it's really niching down there to a specific feature that teams are looking for. In terms of pricing, they have a completely free plan, solo studio and enterprise, depending on your needs. And overall, Based on its self-reported revenue, it's done quite well here, sitting around that 12K MRR mark. Next, we would take a look at Bot Penguin. It's gonna be a chat bot that allows you to answer queries, generate leads, book appointments, and allows you to take your business to new heights. So it's an AI-powered chat bot that enables you to quickly, easily, and build incredible chat bots to communicate and engage your customers on your website, Facebook Messenger, and other platforms. You can see it here on the right here. You can see Bot Penguin. It's gonna be assisting us today. It's like book a demo. It's gonna take you through the steps here. And it's gonna make it really easy to communicate with customers. And it's gonna be online 24 seven. So chatbots have become pretty big in the last few years, especially with advances in AI, making them much easier to build. And they can really decrease your customer service costs which can be a very expensive portion of your SaaS business. It at least makes it feel like the customer is getting their queries answered right away, rather than having to wait for email support, which can take quite long, especially if you are a solo founder, because you do have to do things such as sleep and do other things in your life. Overall for pricing, it gets as cheap as $5 per month, and there is a free plan as well. Next, let's take a look at Soundwise. It allows you to sell audio courses, audiobooks, and private podcasts directly to listeners. And you keep 100% of your revenue. It's really different from being on another platform where they take a percentage of your revenue here. It makes it easy to upload, price, share, earn, and listen for your customers here. You do have App Store, apps on Google Play and Apple, so really covering all your bases. And over 2,000 creators use SoundWise to sell audio online. It's really piggybacking on the creator economy here where many people are creating courses and it makes it easy for them to sell the audio portion here. You can see rather than charging a percentage of revenue, they're going to charge you simply a monthly subscription 
based on the number of features going from $12 a month or 23 on the monthly plan all the way up to $470 a month if you really need some of the advanced features here and the sound mod rate thing does not go away until this largest plan as well as they're trying to use that most likely as a marketing tactic to promote sound wise last let's take a look at appointment reminder it's going to fix your no-show problem. It's going to send out customizable phone, text messages, and email reminders to your clients about their appointments here. So you can see it's great for attorneys, beauty salons, electricians, medical practices, investment advisors, and massage therapy practices. For overall, it's really niching down on what it's doing. It's simply just going to remind customers about their appointments. When using this app, they claim that less than 5% of appointments are canceled as a result of no-shows after a client receives a reminder. Over, we took a look at several MicroSaaS success stories. All these apps claim to have the ten dollars to $15,000 MRR mark. We are not able to personally verify that. That is self-reported there. But these all look to be success stories as they all seem to have been around while they have working product and high self-reported revenue. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these success stories. If you have any more you'd like to add to the list, we could possibly cover that in another video. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below as we're new here. That would greatly help the channel out as we continue to grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.